First pitch moments away here in Philadelphia. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. In its 10th year already as a Major League ballpark, there's a good look at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Hi again, folks. Matt Vaskersian here to bring you this matchup of NL Eastern Division rivals. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a couple of right-handers set to square off here in the opener. Well, and you know these two teams, of course, very familiar with one another. The start of another division series. So you know those two men right there have a huge task in front of them, trying to give their ball club a leg up right here in the opener. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along, but first... Let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their order will read like this. And there you see the starting pitcher they'll match up against as you look at his numbers on the right side of your screen. Juan Pierre will stand in now, and speed is definitely a big weapon in his arsenal as he currently sits third in the National League stolen base chase. Now a ground ball towards the hole, and he'll take this to the bag himself, and there's your first out of the ball game. So the leadoff man set down here in game one. And with that, let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic. Donovan Solano will dig in now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. And that misses inside 1-0. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Boy, and a Reagan-era fastball that time, mid-80s, but it's called strike one. And we all know that this guy doesn't really have the velocity to get it past a whole lot of Major League hitters. So he's got to rely on that location, in and out, up and down, and that was perfect right there. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. And that's in there. Base hit. Freddy Sanchez will stand in. And he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. A cold strike to the 35-year-old veteran. Nothing in one. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. Lined into left center. And Sanchez is aboard a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so put the runners at first and second now, still with only one away. Yeah, the number two and three guys come through with back-to-back -back hits here with one out in the first. Now they've got something cooking, and 
They'll try to stake themselves to an early lead. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike, the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. Now with two strikes, you can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Here's a fastball that swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Catch made shy of the track for the second out, but that should get the job done. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly, and there's our first tally of the ball game. Michael Bourne will stand in. He drove in one of the two runs in yesterday's ball game. Now a move over to first, and he'll get back in safely. Too high, 1-0. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Ball fastball taken inside for a ball, two and one now. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And Bourne is aboard here. It's a base hit. Now a long throw to third. And he is in there at third safely, so there are runners at the corners with two away. Logan Morrison will be the batter. And this is fouled back and out of play. Nope. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. swing and a high pop-up drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout is going to put this one away on the dirt in front of the dugout and that ends the inning so it's a run on three hits no errors and two men left on on now to the bottom of inning number one Miami's out in front one to nothing Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen.
They'll match up against the fellow you see right here, the veteran right-hander Henderson Alvarez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ben Revere will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that's a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard to start off the home half of the first. Michael Young will dig in. And this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. From the belt, the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. swing and he takes the change up the other way out toward right center. Bourne will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. There are the numbers from the last time out and he took a no decision in that one despite allowing just one earned run. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first and stepping in is the catcher Carlos Ruiz. Runners on the move for second. Pitch outside. The throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Well, here's a situation where he's trying to do what he can to get that run back in the bottom of the first. And he helps out the cause by swiping second here. ball at 94 miles an hour and it's one and one for Revere he picks up stolen base number nine on the year so far one one on the way hit hard back up the middle and that's in there base hit around third and being waved on home Bourne's throw comes in, and that'll hold the runner at third. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. Ryan Howard will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. And that's in there for strike one. Pause, now the pitch. 
And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. Echevarria for one. And good hustle by the pitcher there on the back end as it's a 3-6-1 to six to one double play. And the side is retired. We'll move to inning number two here in Philadelphia. The Marlins lead this one one to nothing. Rob Brantley will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line, and no one will track it down. Here it comes. And now here's a swing and a ground ball to third. Stabs for it. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Adani Echevarria will get his first opportunity here, and that average is certainly not where he wants it down in the 220s to begin the ball game. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. In there, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now the one and one pitch. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Oh, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. Full count now, three and two. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. In the air to right center. And right there for it is Young for route number two. Henderson Alvarez will be the batter. Betcher. Henderson Alvarez. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And Young will make the catch, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. We played an inning and a half. It's one to nothing. Chase Utley will stand in, hoping to perhaps pick up a base hit so we can climb over that Mendoza line. 
and he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Now the pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Some would say he's showing good patience here, waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I think you need to make something happen. And they'll try to get Utley to chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Now the 2-2 pitch. And that misses, so it's a full count, 3-2. and two. Yeah, he had him in good position here. 0-2 to start the inning. He just can't seem to finish him off. Swing and a high chopper. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. There's nothing easy about this play right here. It's a high chopper, so he knows he's going to have to field and throw pretty much all in one motion. And he does so here to get his man. That's a nice play. Jimmy Rollins will take his first cuts now. And as you can see, he enters play with that average up over the 320 mark. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One Now here it comes. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. Right, now a swing and a drive high in the air and deep to right center field. Warren's back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Well, one thing about playing in this ballpark, there's an awful lot of room out there in right center. So, you know, he uses a quick jump and a good late burst to flag this one down. Lance Nix will stand in now. 0 for 4 in that day game yesterday. Now the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And even though that is a strike, man, that thing is coming in so hard, it's almost impossible to get a level swing off. You're better off taking it and waiting for something you can handle a little better. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Pitch on the way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Therefore, it is Sanchez. 
Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Marlins lead it one to nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now, and the team's catalyst, Juan Pierre, is coming up. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Ready with another 0-2. And this will be fouled away. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. And you know, pitching's a lot more than just velocity. This guy, he's living proof. If you hit your spots, change speeds, you can get guys out with an 87, 88 mile an hour fastball and he did it right there. Donovan Solano will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And Lopez starts him out with a fastball for strike one. Ball now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Now a ball bounced towards the mound. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Yeah, it, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first. But after that first inning run, he's come back to retire the next six in a row. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in the former batting champion, second baseman Freddy Sanchez. That's to first. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Miami's out in front, one to nothing. Delman Young will take his cuts now. This one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. And now a pitch on the way. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Make it count. 
Here's one hit towards the hole. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. So with the leadoff man on base, let's take a look at our daily feature here, this date in baseball history. Rodrigo Lopez will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. It's a little surprising they just lay a fastball right in there for him. You've got a pretty good idea that he's going to bunt. But give him a slider down and away or something else. Make him earn it. Ben Revere will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. Ball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Michael Young will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Line foul to the right and over the Phillies dugout. From the belt, kicks and deals. In there, strike two. Now 0-2, oh you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it, and it doesn't always have to be a strike. Take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Whoa, that one definitely took off on him right there. He's lucky that thing didn't go all the way to the backstop. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. From the stretch. And this ball's hit pretty well. High and deep to straightaway left. Pierre is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. And the fastball now is swung on and tapped right out in front of the plate. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Yeah, doesn't look like much has changed here to start this inning either. That's eight in a row now he's set down. Michael Bourne will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Here's the swing and a chance for Howard over at first. 
And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. You just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row he's set down. Logan Morrison will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. High strike there, 0 and 1. One and one. Another really close pitch there. He's been around the strike zone quite a bit. You know, sometimes that can be good. Other times, though, it can make you a little too predictable out there. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly. And the inning is over. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Carlos Ruiz will stand in to lead it off for Philadelphia with Ryan Howard on deck and then Chase Utley to follow. And he didn't quite get all of it as this is lifted in the air out towards left center. In there, a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, when you're hot, you're hot. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league, and he comes through again with the second hit of the ball game. This one for two bases. Ryan Howard will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on the way. Ball one. For Ruiz, that gives him five doubles now on the year. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. Brantley is out of the crouch and he stays with it for route number one. Just coasting right along here. Gets another pop-up and look, he, he's barely breaking a sweat out there now. Chase Utley will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now he takes something off there as this is skied out to fairly deep center field. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he is in there. Yeah, this ball's hit high enough that he can go back and tag at second base. So that's a good job of moving up the extra 90 feet now with two outs. Two are gone in the Philly fourth. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now a swing and a bouncing ball down to Solano at third. 
On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. Philly strand one. It remains one nothing. Rob Brantley will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First offering on the way. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Ball one. And a pitch taken here. It's now 2-1 to the Miami backstop. Yeah, and when that pitch starts off outside, it's much easier to get a better view of it and then just lay off. Two and two. And he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. And it had been a little while since they had any action on the base pass. He'd retired 10 in a row until that base hit right there, and now they're going to have to find a way to string a couple of these together. A Danny Echevarria will try it again. He flew out his first time. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Now a fastball is lifted into the air to shallow center. Revere comes on now and he has it one down. And this is all about taking charge out there. That's the center fielder's ball if he can get there. So he calls everybody off and he makes the play easily. Henderson Alvarez will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. Yeah, that's just not really good form right there. He's just kind of jabbing at that thing. Let's go, Philly. Check from Lopez. Now the pitch. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. And the throw will come to Utley covering the bag as the sacrifice works that time. You know, in this situation, some people may say, with one out, why not just let him swing away? You know why you don't let him swing away? Because he's a pitcher, that's why. All you can hope for is for him to go up there and make a productive out, and that's what he did. Juan Pierre will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Strike. Fouled back. Strike. 
2-2 pitch on the way. Here's a softly hit ball back to him on the mound. Oh, and he just throws the glove up there and snares it for out number three. One hit, one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing. Lance Nix will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First pitch coming. In there for strike one. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Right back to the outside part of the plate, but that misses as well. It's two and one. Out in front of the fastball, but this is skied into straightaway right. Sanchez backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there where they rank in that category. Delman Young will dig in. He singled his first time around. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Now the pitch. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Here's one that misses now to the Philly right fielder. It's two balls and a strike. Now a swing and a ground ball. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Hits are now even at four apiece. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taking some chances with location, but you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Rodrigo Lopez will dig in. No official at-bat yet as he delivered a sacrifice bunt in his first appearance. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Oh. 
And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Five innings complete. It's the Marlins one, and the Phillies nothing. Donovan Solano will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And this ball's hit high and deep toward the corner and right. But this will land foul shy of the wall. the pitch and this is pop foul but perhaps playable behind first Howard is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning well sometimes when you miss with your location it actually works to your benefit I mean this pitch is further up than I think he wants it but hey, it works out for him Freddy Sanchez will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. First pitch coming. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quickly. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. And that misses two and one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. And that at-bat right there, that's exactly why this guy's such a tough out. I mean, he's not going to launch too many balls into the stands, but he will do this. And that's work the count in his favor and then come through with a solid single. So a runner at first now with one away and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch to him. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Swing and a miss for strike one. Now a ball line fouled up and over the Phillies' dugout. He's set, now the pitch. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and yes, he went around. It's strike three. 
And that slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Michael Bourne will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Next pitch will be number 75 for Rodrigo. He dials down on that one, but the result's the same. It's a called strike as he's in the hole now, 0-2. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. He waits. Now the pitch. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. One run, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. Comes set, now the pitch. 2-2 two -two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. And even though that runs the count full, you'll at least get the benefit of giving that runner at first a head start here. And that misses, ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Oh, and you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue, and a guy moves up into scoring position here. Logan Morrison will come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. Oh. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Marlins on top, one to nothing. Ben Revere will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. Here's the pitch. Sanchez now at second. Sanchez throws to first to take care of him for out number one. And here in these middle innings, they just haven't been able to get anything going against him out there. And that's seven in a row now. He's set down here in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Michael Young will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And he gets ahead 0-1. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Oh, 
Hard hit towards center. And Young is aboard. That's a base hit. He'll take the turn and head for second. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, this is one of the few mistakes he's made all game long. Not too many guys have made solid contact so far, but he squared that one up pretty well. Carlos Ruiz will dig in. He doubled his last time. Fastball in the dirt, and that's going to get away. But fortunately, no advance. Young leads off second, the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, two gone. Boy, this guy's got him the lead back in the very first inning, and... He hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. So a runner at third, two men are out, and digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. Now a big swing as this is popped up, and I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Morrison is there and he puts this one away for the third out so a great job there of working out a potential trouble so another good inning for him on the mound six shutout innings now seventh inning coming up it's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia it's on to the seventh inning with the Marlins on top, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings of play. Michael Stutes is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Rob Brantley will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. This is high, a ball and a strike. Now the pitch. Inside and low, two and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Full count, three and two. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. If you're looking for a good way to add to a one-run lead, a leadoff walk never hurts. Let's see how they want to play this from here. A Danny Echevarria will stand in. He flew out his last time up.
And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Comes back with a fastball again as he's in control. 0-2. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Not exactly the finest of starts to the inning out there on the mound. A walk followed by a wild pitch. But this is a good time to go out there and say, hey, what's up? Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. But he had no intention of going anywhere as he'll stay at second base with one away now. Well, he's now 0 for 3 in this one, but he's had a couple of good at-bats mixed in there. He's seeing the ball really well. They just don't want to fall in for him. Henderson Alvarez will stand in, and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And this is taken for a ball inside. Don't know exactly where that would have missed, but it's one and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Hits are even right now at five aside. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Well, he just threw that fastball by him. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Juan Pierre will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0.
Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And this ball will be chopped foul. Now a fastball, and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out to our deep right field. Waiting on it is Young, and he makes the catch to retire the side. Marlins leave one. They lead it one to nothing. Chase Utley will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. First pitch coming. Ball one. Will this one come down? Now that is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Solo shot that time from Chase Utley, giving him an even 200 career. And it brings the Phillies back even now with one apiece. And as a pitcher, when your guys aren't scoring any runs for you, it makes things awfully difficult out there for you. I mean, he's held them off for as long as he could, but now with one swing, this is a completely different ball game. Jimmy Rollins will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. Fast ball, probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball, 1-0. Oh. Well, that home run a moment ago, estimated at 425 feet. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And this is hit hard on the ground to first. And Rollins is aboard. It's a base hit. I'll tell you what. With a base dealer like this on at first, knowing this ball club like I do, I don't think they're going to play this too close to the best. I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the move here real soon. Now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first and the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Evan Reed is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Lance Nix will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Now a throw over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. A check on Rollins, now the pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Come on, let's keep it going. Throw 
over to the bag. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And he turns beautifully on that fastball as this is pulled into right for a base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. And this is what folks mean when they talk about time in the fastball. He looks at the first pitch just to get a feel for the speed, the movement, and then when it comes again, now he knows how to handle it. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that will bring in the center fielder, Delman Young. Now a fastball that's popped up, now towards short right field. And no one can get there as it falls. And the go-ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody out. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots, but somehow he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. A.J. Ramos will be summoned into the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases are loaded with nobody out. And we're going to see a pinch hitter in this spot as the right-handed batting Kevin Franzen begins to loosen up on deck. Infield a double play depth all around. Here's the pitch. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. This one will be foul back in among the fans. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Tight spot. Bases loaded. Nobody out. And that misses two and two. Mm, 94 on the outer edge. You can't help but take that. Swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. Stanton is there. Let's see if they try it. And the throw comes in, and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. Yeah, not a really good at-bat right there. He got the fly ball he was looking for, but nowhere near deep enough to risk trying to get that go-ahead run home from third base. Ben Revere will be the batter here, and with the bases loaded, they can afford to play double play depth up the middle. And now the Marlins' bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Here's the first offering. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Bases are loaded here, one man out. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Yeah. 
swing and a fly ball. This ought to at least get the go-ahead run in. Warren is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two gone. And here comes the clutch hitting Michael Young. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Swing and a hot shot down the line. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And that could turn out to be a very big insurance run right there. That makes this a two-run game now. And the way their starter's pitching, he may not wind up even meeting it. But at least it gives him a little bit of a cushion out there. Scott Main will slide in now and try and work out of this one. Carlos Ruiz would be his first assignment as he steps in with two men in scoring position now, but also two away. Now here's the first pitch. Starts him with a breaking ball this time. Misses down and in for a ball. 1-0. bite at that one either it's 2-0 and, oh. three runs already home here swing and the ball hit well to the right side but this will get into the crowd Now a ball hit back up the middle. Throw is in time, and they're able to avoid the huge inning here as the side is retired. So they strike for three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple of men left on. Eighth inning coming up. Phillies on top, three to one. Antonio Bastardo will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Donovan Solano to get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Now the first pitch of the inning is a fly ball out to straightaway left. Nix is there to put it away, and they couldn't ask for more than a one pitch out to begin the eighth. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Freddy Sanchez will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Gets a piece here as this is pushed foul off to the right side. And here's a fastball that he takes the other way out to fairly deep right. And right there for it is Young for route number two.
You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. And a change up there that had him fooled as this has popped up back behind short. And Rollins will make the catch and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Score holds, it's three to one. Ryan Webb is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Ryan Howard will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. First pitch is a sinker too low, 1-0. And think about it, in game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend. Now Howard waits on the 1-0. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. A strike, and it's 2-1. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And boy, this is exactly how you want your leadoff hitter to approach in that bat. They're showing a lot of patience, and it's worked out so far. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. He'll try it again, three and two. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. Chase Utley will get another crack. One for three thus far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. And he waits out the change up there as it's belted high and deep into right center. And out of here! Solo shot to right center, number 201 in his career. And the Phillies have opened it up now, it's 4-1. And wouldn't you know it, he goes right through the order. Three and four guys go down to start the inning. But it's the number five guy in the lineup that was a different story. And he takes him over the wall for a long home run. Tom Kohler will get the call now as he'll try to get the final two outs here and get this one on to the ninth inning. Jimmy Rollins will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Your time. Let's go, Rollins. 
Rollins swings and misses as he's behind here, nothing and two. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch, and they had him fooled pretty good on that one. And he missed with it. It's one and two. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. And that will become out number two. Well, here's one of the few things that hasn't gone his way during this recent hot streak of his. He's been tearing the cover off the ball for the last week or two, and he does it again right here, but this time he's going to come up empty. Lance Nix will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Two out, nobody on. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. And this one will be fouled back in among the fans. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Mm. He did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Up with it is Sanchez. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. One for the Phils, and it comes courtesy of this home run by Chase Utley. Last chance coming up here for the Marlins. It's now 4-1 Philadelphia. Charlie Manuel making his way toward home plate here, so it appears we'll have a double switch coming up. Jonathan Papelbon is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Michael Bourne will be the first one to greet Papelbon as he'll get things started here in the ninth. right field young is there and it's a picture perfect beginning to the ninth inning for a pitcher one pitch one away well this is what you want out of your closer comes in firing darts and it's a very quick out number one Logan Morrison will stand in needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs And the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first to be in time, and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Well, I'm going to guess he wasn't expecting it to be this easy. That's two outs on two pitches, and he's an out away from wrapping this one up. Rob Brantley is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. There's the fastball to start the at-bat as Papelbon takes charge 0-1-1.
Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Huh. That's what you call getting in tight with fastball. will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. And now a crowd reported at over 28,000 rise to their feet. So two balls and two strikes now. Bond trying to finish it. The pitch. Now a ground ball hits sharply back up the box and it'll get into center field. A two-out single. And you just had the feeling that even though they were down to their final strike, they were not going to go down easily. And now they're going to keep this game alive for at least one more batter. Dani Echevarria will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And they continue to work below the knees here as that's ball two. I, I think he's going out there right now just to remind his guy, hey, this is the number eight hitter up there. No reason to, to work the edges. You just come right after him. Slider over here, it's two and one now. Pitch to the plate is a splitter that misses, so he's behind in the count now, three and one. And obviously a walk here would be a huge development in this game with two outs in the ninth inning. You don't want to bring that tying run to the plate. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. He may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, I mean, that's not going to help things. Justin Ruggiano will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 20, Justin Ruggiano. This is off the glove of Ruiz as it bounds away. No, no. 
And he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. And that's right there and we're even at one. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. And this hole he's digging on the mound, it's all he's doing. He's got to be able to find the strike zone. Ball hit high to the right side. But this will get into the seats foul. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out, so that's a tough pitch to lay off. Here's Papelbon now on three and two. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. Another patented Papelbon performance here as he comes in to get the final three outs. That's going to earn him a save. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And the Phillies offensively here tonight were led by the exploits of this man, Chase Utley. Picture perfect there. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the gang, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB 13, the show. For more, as always, head to theshownation.com. The Phillies win this one 4-1. to one. Good night from Philly.